Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft, the Pixelmon mod. Now, I'm running around through the desert trying to find myself a pyramid, one of the randomly spawning dungeons within the desert, because I need wool. You guys have been very helpful and have been telling me that sleeping should revive flint. Now, unfortunately, because of the Pixelmon mod, in general, uh, wool has been turned off by default. Uh, not not wool, but uh, sheep have been turned off. The normal mobs have been deactivated. In my time trying to look out for stuff as well, uh, I did come across some acorns, uh, apricorn, <clears throat> apricorns. Uh, sorry, <laughs> which I shall explain what they do in a moment. It was just uh, well, I was doing a bit of upgrading and I decided to have a quick look around. So. Just for a bit of up-to-date news, I hate everything because it happened, I knew it would happen as soon as I released my video about Pixelmon, about me having trouble with 1.5, uh, 1.6 update came out. Literally days after I said that. Like, my god, were they planning it on purpose. Jesus Christ. So, now I have it up to date, and there are new stuff, there's new items, there's new Pokemon in here as well. You may also hear some Pokemon voice acting going on. It's not the official stuff, it's the uh, stuff that the mod creators or whoever they've got to do the voices to just kind of put their own voices in. Which uh, I don't personally like, because... I understand why it's useful, because while you're on a journey you could hear something, and oh my god, Goldux. Uh, you could hear, like, the Pokemon in the background and be like, okay, I know what's around the corner. But for me, I personally actually like it when I implement the, um, the Game Boy ones. Or the original sound effects, the one from the games. I can't call it Game Boy 1 anymore because they still do the same thing. They still have the same sound effects even when you have, like, the DS or the 3DS one. So, whatever. I don't really know any other way of getting wool though. The only other ways I knew of doing it were getting a bunch of spider webs, which I could probably do if I found the abandoned mine shaft, as well as uh, because I could get the um, the cobwebs to make them into wool. Or I have to hope that a random wild Pokemon battle will happen and uh, that the thing that goes down drops wool. That's the only real way I can figure out how to get it legitimately without having to spawn it in. Now I've spruced up- oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa! Holy shit. That is a big gaping hole. Okay, I have kind of upgraded the village. We've even named it. I saw a name in the comments and I like the sound of it. Hang on, let me go and have a let me go and show you real fast. Let me show you my humble abode. Having said that, I need to get some more food anyway. So, I did this and I made sure that, like, the stuff I used, I did it in uh, in my off time. The stuff I used was all um, very basic stuff and I didn't want to put wool on here. Because I didn't want to just, like, take it from there. I want to actually try and find this wool. But I've named it New Sand Town. Someone, made, someone named it that in the... Uh, in the description, or not description, the uh, comments below. I've got my house here, and I've also got myself a map somewhere in one of these houses. I've uh, named them all and what I'm going to have them as. The Pokemon Center, the storage area, the Poke Lounge, which I believe is where the map is to indicate where the home area is. Yep, there it is. And you can see this is the amount of area I've explored so far. So yeah, we've made it nice and homey. Um, I will say that for time and convenience, I did do this in creative mode, but I made sure I didn't give myself any advantages. Oh yeah, having said that, I do need to get these while I think about it. Do -do 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 -do. And I'll replant those and cook these, because then I'll have a bit of food to use. Uh, do I have any coal? I don't think I do, so I'll cook that instead. So let's see, where is an area I haven't been yet? I haven't been that way. Uh, I'm trying to find one of those I'm trying to find one of those randomly spawning pyramids to get the wool out of it, funnily enough. I don't even want the items that are inside it. I just want the wool. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of weird, I guess. I guess I could use what's in it anyway, but that's the main reason I want it. I want the wool. 
And I put a fence around everything just so Pokemon can't get in, but as you can see, they do it anyway because some of them are flying uh, around like a Geodude. They get some of them spawn inside the thing anyway, so felt like a waste of time. But hey, I did it because it looks nice. If you can think of any other ways to improve the village, then leave the comment below because I'd love to improve that village. That's going to be the main village, I guess. And then we'll kind of expand from there. What I'm hoping I do is I find different villages as I go and then I can make new maps and then from there kind of have a huge overarching map where I can kind of check where I'm going and see where I'm headed and so on which will be nice because it'll be like a legit Pokemon adventure like a Pokemon journey and you can always join in too because I could always share out the seed and you'll have exactly the same kind of layout I do oh my god Are they polywells oh wow look at these guys oh my god stare into his body you're getting sleepy all right that's awesome though there's some Pokemon in here I haven't seen yet, so that's pretty cool. Oh, well, there's a bunch of Pokemon I haven't seen yet, but I'm just saying there's, like, new ones, even. New ones that weren't in here from when I first started this series. So, people have been asking me a lot to tell them how to install this kind of stuff, and I do intend on trying to do some kind of tutorial for 1.6.2, because it's quite different now, especially different to um, when... Uh, the original Dragon Block C installation video came out. The thing is, though, it's a lot easier, and I'll quickly explain it now since I'm being look. At, since I'm just going to be kind of walking around trying to find this thing. Um, really, you don't need to do anything impressive. All you have to do. What the hell are you? Oh my God, is that? Oh my God, Weedle! You know, I wish I'd have seen you when I was um, doing very basic training, because then I could have probably beaten him. So yeah, what you basically do now is you need Mineforge. Mineforge is got just by going to their website. Um, you can Google Mineforge and it'll be the first thing that comes up and it will redirect you to a place. Okay, so here's a uh, real quick, here's a apricorn tree. You right click it to get rid of the apricorn, uh, which you can replant at another location. And you can leave this to like do another to get another one, but I usually chop them down just cause uh, I'm a bitch like that I guess and you can uh, grow your own apricorn trees which is nice but that's the way you get those just so you know that they're in my inventory now and that you can use them for pokeballs the red ones anyway and I'll show you more about that when I actually have a chance to but until then you're just going to go with what I've shown you here but anyway where was I yes you download mineforge and you they literally have an installer now where you can press go it will go and install Mineforge for you. And then all you need to do is download the Pixelmon mod. You unzip it because they have two folders in there. You'll need to put in the uh, in the zipped up folder of the Pixelmon mod with inside the folder you just unzipped into the mods folder that should appear after you've installed Mineforge within your roaming app data .minecraft folder where you usually install mods and stuff. Oh man, potatoes don't give you much hunger, do they? Oh man, I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> and then from there, uh, you then put in the databases, I think, into the .minecraft folder anyway. And from there, you can play the Pixelmon mod and any mod that uses Mineforge that way. Since this is not in 1.5.2 anymore, I don't have to explain how to install it like that, which is very useful. What is that? Is that another apricorn tree? I think that's another apricorn tree. So, yeah, it looks like there won't be that much, um... Is that a mill tank? Oh my god! Is that a mill tank? That is a fucking mill tank! And there's a big rock over there. What does the big rock do? I don't know. What does big rock do? Do I have a Pokemon that knows... Rock throw? Oh man. No, it wasn't- there was a move, wasn't there? Oh, what is that? Oh. It didn't do anything. Alright then, that was weird. But now I'm pretty sure <coughs> there was a move that you can use that allows you to throw rocks or something, or move them, or break them. Can't remember. Apple! That will come in handy. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to revive Charmander right now without actually digging underground. Because the only other way of me doing it is to get a Pokemon Center item, which unfortunately requires a diamond. Which is, uh, a tedious task. 
Well, it's not that tedious, I guess. I could just mine down in a straight line. I might do that. <laughs> the only thing is I need iron and stuff. So, um, oh man, look at all of these apricorns. I'm not complaining. Having said that, I'm not sure if I can use them all yet for uh, various different ball types. And I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure I remember someone... At least I know there are safari balls in this, I believe. Or something like that. I'm pretty sure there are. I'm getting completely lost. This isn't anywhere I was meant to go. Is that a bee drill? I think that's a bee drill. That is a bee drill. Hello, bee drill. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be having any luck when it comes to reviving Flint anytime soon, which is a bit of a shame. So what I'll do is I'm going to go and return near to home and dig my way down, try and see what I can find underground. I'll know that I'll note actually that this area is pretty good for fighting stuff because as you can see, there's some pretty low level stuff here, which is extremely useful. Oh, is that a Voltorb? I thought that was an actual Pokemon then. Or like a Pokeball, rather. It is a Voltorb. But yeah, you guys have been extremely helpful, and I thank you for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, just made it back to New Sandtown, and I'm going to be having a quick look in the storage unit, actually, because I need to see if there's any coal. Okay, yeah, I did put some coal in there. Okay, good. I'm going to put in these apricorns for the time being, as well as this leaf stone. I don't know how many shards I need to actually make a thing. Uh, so... I'm going to need some torches because I need to dig underground. I didn't think I'd have to dig underground in this site. Uh, in, this, in this site? Well, okay. I didn't know I'd have to dig underground in this mod, but whatever. Let's dig underground. Okay, do I need any stone? I don't, I don't have any stone, surprisingly. Now, you could be saying, get the stone from the floor. No, I didn't want to do that. The idea was not going to cheat. suppose I could get it from this place. He said, when there is no stone in here. Okay, fine. I don't know if there's any wool in these areas that I might have missed. That would be useful, not gonna lie. I don't think so, though. Oh, yeah! You know what I was meant to mention, actually, that I completely forgot that I wanted to mention this? I actually have to thank someone. And now, I don't have a specific name, but you'll know who you are. I have a Pokemon skin! Someone sent it to me via my email. It's based around my old skin, at least the jumper is. But as you can see, I've got these nice new trousers on and a Pokemon helmet and hat thing, which is awesome, and a backpack. And it looks awesome, and it goes really well for the series. So thank you, guy, or, or girl, or other, who is out there who made this skin. It's uh, I'm very grateful. It looks awesome. So I'll be using this for the remainder of the series. If I do any other videos, though, I might forget to take it off. But anyway, at least you'll get more exposure from your skin there, I guess. So thank you very much for that, Owens. And what was I going to do? Oh yeah, dig! <laughs> That's what I was going to do. I was going to dig underground. Let's do that here, I guess? What's over here? What is actually here? Just a uh, not important thing. Okay, so I actually have a spade. Why am I not using that? I'm just going to dig straight down and hope for the best. Oh. oh, I may have not thought about this very well. Uh, screw it. I know there's going to be a point where I hit uh, sandstone. That would be easier to dig through. He said. Oh, no. I floated myself. Oh, God. Didn't think this through. Didn't think this through. Abort. Abort. Uh, wrong area to do that in. Very wrong area to do that in. Okay. Let's start again. Hey, guys. How's it going? This time I'm doing it on Not Idiot Edition. Just so you know. It's going to be... I shouldn't really be doing this in the sand. I should, like, pick a better place to do this. But fuck it, to be quite honest. Carrots. Just replant these. <coughs> and eat a bunch, because goddamn. Okay, back to square one. Where to dig? Fuck it, here. We'll dig here. <laughs> I don't care. It's under a house. That's, that's what counts. Whatever. We'll dig here. We'll go underground, and we'll try and find ourselves... Oh, there we go. This is some sandstone. There you go. Doing some normal Minecrafting right now. You have no idea. All right, so what I want to do... Delete that. And, oh, delete that and put it in. That's not the way I wanted to do that. All right, get rid of these. One more, I guess. 
Alright, so. Now I should be able to dig into sandstone and not worry. There we go. Perfect. And now I want to get a better pick because screw wooden picks, to be quite honest. Alright, here we go. We have a nice area. Let me just uh, wall this off with a bit of sandstone for safety. Put this in here. Damn it, Diglett, what are you doing? What are you doing, Diglett? God damn it. Can't take Diglett anywhere. Hey, get out of my house. Get out of my house, you goddamn Diglett. All right, fine, you can stay there for the time being. What level are you, anyway? You're level 10. Well, Flint would kill you. <laughs> he wouldn't. In my mind, he would, all right? Flint's been through enough already. Well, I'm gonna continue digging and hope for the best. I'll see you if I see anything of interest. <sighs> okay. Even after all this mining, I still haven't found any diamond yet. But I have found this, and I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's going to be Firestone Shards, which is kind of cool. So let's have a little look, because if that's the case, then I want to collect these. They're either going to be Shards, or they're going to be the legit Firestone, which would be pretty awesome. Still no diamond, though, so I have yet to um, be able to revive Flint yet, which is annoying. Can I mine it with iron, though? Oh, I can. Hey. Firestone shard. Okay, yeah, good. Sweet. I don't know how... I still don't know how many shards I need to actually make the damn thing. But I'm still gonna continue... Oh, there's another... Oh, there's some more over there, too. Oh, man. There's a lot of these things. Let's go and get these while we can. And let me just check this. Make sure there's not any more here. I've been digging for absolutely ages. I have, like, the worst luck when it comes to legitimately finding diamond, though, to be honest. Um, I generally just don't dig in the right places. I'm at the right level. Like, I believe I'm at the right depth. I'm at, like, meter depth number 9. And I know it's within the 15. So, I don't know. Man, I just don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully I'll find something. This uh, lava does seem pretty shallow. Which is useful. Okay, uh, let's get these fire shards. I wouldn't mind making a fire stone, just because, really. I have no reason not to. Whoop. There we go. Put that in there, that way I don't get burnt to a crisp. Put you down here. I want to keep some lava, because it's a free light source, essentially. Which is extremely useful. Yeah, Firestone Shards, nice, okay. Still no diamond though, which is a little annoying. I'm hoping that I'll find some near around this, uh, this lava though, because that's usually where I find them. I find them near lava areas, purely because, I guess it's because it's less of the chunk there, so you have a better chance of finding some. Uh, I don't know exactly if that's how that works, <laughs> but I'm hoping it is. I mean, I'm, I'm making up stuff at this point, so. Anyway, I won't keep you because I'm hoping to at least have found some diamond before the end of this episode and the further I go on explaining random crap, the longer it takes for me to do, so I'll be back again later. <sighs> oh my god, thank fucking god for that. Oh, I finally found some. Oh my god, that took way too long. Oh my god, that was like the worst. Oh my god. Okay, yay. <laughs> oh my god, that took way too long. Okay, I'm gonna go back upstairs and I'm probably gonna have to minimize this to figure out how I need what I need to do to get the the fucking poker center thing to work. Oh my god, I'll be right back. I need aluminium. I forgot. I need aluminium. Oh. <laughs> I just found this stuff. I'm thinking it doesn't look like it doesn't look like iron. What the hell is that? Oh my god. What the hell is this stuff? I'm hoping that's what I need to make the plates. Oh my god, it's different though. Let's have a look. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you! 
bonus points if you know where that's from. <laughs> oh man, okay, so I'm gonna get myself some coal here and see what the hell this new mineral does. Now, I don't know how many new minerals are in the game. I'm hoping it's just the one because I need... Oh, what the hell is that? Is that Golbat? I think that's a Golbat. He's uh, trying to block my entrance. Um, but yeah, I think this new material... I'm hoping this new material is the thing I need to make the uh, aluminium plates. Unless this is something else. Then I guess I'll find out in a moment. I'm going to put you in there. Please give me some good stuff. Give me some good stuff. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh my god. Please give me what I want. And... Iron. Wait, that's the wrong thing. Ha! <laughs> I'm like... Eh, I mean, that's cool that it's giving me iron, I guess. But uh, I don't get why it's any different. But apparently, I'm an idiot. One sec. Let me just get a second furnace set up here. I have... I'm impatient. I don't want to wait. I want to see what it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm silly. Alright, let's have a look. Come on. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Uh, oh. Aluminium ingots. Yes. Yes. Happy day. Okay. How many do I need of these for me to make a plate, though? Oh, man. I hope I don't need a lot. That will suck. Oh yeah, since we have so much iron, I also have something else I want to make as well. Which will be cool, it will allow me to make Pokeballs and so on. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, no. No, I'm hoping I don't need nine. Because I only have eight. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe... Okay, I might need the anvil, so... Let me just... Anvil. This is a different anvil than what we used to. And then from here, I think I have to make uh, that. Oh, I might not have to make the hammer. Okay, let's uh, let's just stick with a wood hammer for the time being. I want to just check this out. Okay, so this is a new item, a hammer. It also got the anvil as well. These are two new items. Um, where do I want to put these though? These uh, storage. Is storage the Poke Lounge? I don't think I had a thing for this, so we'll call this the work area. Look at this. It looks like a work area, doesn't it? Okay, so what do I. How do I. Do I iron? Oh! Oh, okay. Can't do that. Hammer. Oh! What did that do? I don't know what that did. <laughs> Whee! You put, you put it on there. And then no. Oh, this is weird. I don't know what to do. Hammer, 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 hammer. I don't know what this is. This isn't doing anything. I'm thinking that I might need a certain strength hammer to do this. Oh, I'm not sure. This is one thing I didn't actually read up about. Typical, isn't it? The one thing I needed and I don't even know. Alright, uh... Okay, I don't know if I needed the iron hammer, but that's what I've got, so let's try this out yet again. I want to try it with one bit of iron first. Oh, I can't. Okay, that's interesting. So, aluminum is the only thing that works. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Did you see that? It went down. How did I do that? How did I... How did I do that? I don't know what I did! Let me do it again! Huh? <gasps> yes! Okay! Yes! Okay! Alright, alright, alright. I guess I just have to... Do I have to have the cut? No, I don't have to have the curse. Okay. Oh man, this is a busy task. This is working hard for my rewards today. Oh my god. Okay, put that on there. And then whack away with my hammer. I think I could have done this with a wooden hammer. It just would have taken forever. Oh my god. I only need four, I think. Oh 
my god, this is good. We're gonna be able to have flint at least for the next episode. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. I only need four, I think. And then I need iron ingots. Oh, do I have... Okay, I have enough iron ingots. Good. Alright. Okay. I think we have enough, guys. Oh my god. We can probably get flint back. Okay, so I need the diamond in the center. The plates around the outside there. And these around here. <gasps> the healer! Okay, we have the healer now. Oh my god. I need to... Where's the poker center? There it is. Pokemon center. Put it there. <gasps> oh my god. I don't want to break it in case. Uh, oh! Oh! Huh? Huh? <gasps> huh? Fli oh, you look... <laughs> you look a lot different than you did last time. Oh my god, his model's been way updated. And you're speaking now. <laughs> yes! We have Flint back! Oh my god! Okay, and goddamn, we've got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna sort out my inventory in my off-screen time, and then we'll finally go on an adventure into the jungle to try and defeat some dudes, because... <laughs> goddamn. Alright! Thank you for watching this Minecrafty episode of Pixelmon. I hope you enjoyed our new discoveries, and at least finding out what some of these things do. And I will see you on the next one. Okay, thanks, bye!